do not try even to harm anybody in Hajj. To kiss the Hajj as well is not fard or something. If you are able to get to it so that you kiss it and start when you start the, the tawaf around the Kaaba, it's okay. If you don't get the chance, it's enough to get beyond or be behind this line and start to ihram from there by just referring to it or pointing out to it like this. Do not try to get there. I saw myself, women fighting. Wallahi, they were fighting with me. I was, when I tried to get to this, I was in the line. I got to the line a few years back, mashallah. I found myself going out. <laughs> People lifting me up. SubhanAllah, why we are we find in this place? No fighting at all. So this is the point where you, where you will do what? Start your tawaf. Tawaf, this is the second pillar of hajj. The thing that you can never miss. The first thing is what? Niyyah. <coughs> when you do the ihram, when you start the ihram. In niyyah, to say that fake Allah, have the intention to do it, right? Then this is the second thing that you can never miss. To do ihram before you do it, in case you miss, your, you lose your wudu or something, what you're supposed to do? Tawaf around the Kaaba, circling the Kaaba is like salat. What do you need for salat? Wudu. So you, you can go and get shower or something. You can, uh, when you get to, uh, you, now you came from the uh, uh, Jeddah or whatever, you leave your stuff at your, the place, the hotel or something, and you take a shower or, uh, you can take a shower by the way, if you are in the state of Ihram, you can take off these uh, uh, clothes and take a shower, no problem. But do not try to take any hair or trim or do all of these restrictions that we mentioned. You can take a full shower, you can have a wudu, and then come, if you, so any, if you lose your wudu, you have to, you have to renew it before you start the ihram because it's the same like salah. Now we will start the ihram. How many times you should go around the Kaaba? Seven. Seven. Seven times. This is again very important. If you start from here, after it, this will not count. This will not count. It has to be behind it. When you start, get to it, al hajar al aswad try to touch it and kiss it. You touch it and you might rub it. Do not, some people try to rub it and, and take over their bodies. And, no, this is not so. Just you can rub it. You can touch it, you can have sujood on it. Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did so. You can prostrate on it. These are the things that Allah. This hajar is not, will not benefit you or harm you. Sayyidina Umar, you know the hadith that he said one day? Wallahi, by Allah, I know you are just a stone that uh, cannot hurt or benefit. It's just because I saw the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam doing this, I'm doing this. You see? So you touch it very respectfully and you can kiss it and you can even frustrate on it. So it's uh, there. Once you do this, you say, Allahu Akbar, or Bismillah, Allahu Akbar. You see? You say, Allahu Akbar, and you start the first round. And you go, when you start the first round, by the time you get here, for men, what they're supposed to do for the upper part, it's right here, Show the arm. of their ihram, all the time they were, they were covering like, themselves like this. But once they get to this point, they were covering themselves like this. Once they get to this point, kiss the Kaaba, and then they will uncover the right shoulder like this. It's uncovered now. They will not be putting anything. Allahu Akbar. And then you move. You go forward. Al Kaaba will be which side? To your left. To your left. You'll be going clockwise, clockwise right? Counter clockwise. Counter clockwise. It will be to your left, and you'll be going. And this is the first round. What are you supposed to say while going around Al Kaaba? What are you supposed to say? We have booklets that certain stuff you can say in the first round. Uh, the second page, turn the page. The, the, the things that you're supposed to say in the, in the second round, in the third round, right? Is this correct? It's not correct? You are not supposed to use any leaflets or booklets. Many people, they go in groups. They have booklets, oh, uh, the first page, this is the uh, prayer or the supplication for the first round. And they start going reading in Arabic, they are not, they just don't know, even understand Arabic and they keep reading. Don't do this. Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi did not do this. You say, you, you say any type of dua in your language. In your language, say any type of dua, any type of dhikr, salah ala Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam, Allahumma ghafir li, Allahumma rahamni, Allahumma raham Shaykh Amr, Allahumma ghafir li. Make dua to me, so don't forget, okay? You can make dua to anybody, make dua to yourself. Subhanallah, alhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illallah, wa Allahu akbar. Then, I forgot to mention something, what it is? 
for men. We made it to die. Is there any something, uh, anything mi uh, missing? For men. The bottom part. In the first three rounds, they are supposed to make something like harwan. It's called ramal. Ramal, they will be like a little bit, not running. They are not running. Only Hands for up. men. Women cannot do this. Women will go, will walk just no problem at all. They are not, they are not running. They are not uh, f uh, even faster than usual. But men, they will be a little bit faster than usual. In case you have, it's very crowded, a lot of people in front of you, what are you going to do? Push them. I have to run. Okay, right? Don't do this. I saw a lot of people. I saw a lot of people, they have the skills of running. They go right and left. Somebody is here, so you go. That's him. Do not no, no. You're just supposed to, if it's, you know, uh, the place allows you, just fasten some, something like this. You see me? Just something like this. What is the, uh, the wisdom behind this? <laughs> Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he came from Medina to make this uh, Umrah for the first time, he asked his companions to do it for a reason. What was the reason? The people of Mecca, Muslims now, they migrated to Medina. And now they're coming after almost eight, eight years. There, there were a lot of, how do you call it, the harb al-nafsiyya, the psychological war. People of Mecca, they, they, uh, uh, there were a lot of uh, rumors that these Muslims are weak. They got the infections of Medina. Medina was, uh, uh, was known at this time uh, for some disease and infection. These people are weak. They cannot even fight against you. Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam asked the Sahaba to show them the right uh, shoulder and arm and, and ask them to go fast a little bit. When they saw the Sahaba, mashallah, they are fast and they are, you know, uh, power and everything, they are strong. These people said, no, 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 we were mistaken. So you are supposed to do this in the first three rounds. You go a little bit faster than usual, not running. No running, okay? Just a little bit faster than usual. Then, this is, we're still in the first round now. I'm showing you a little thing. So this is the first round. Kaaba to your left. Do not go the other way. No, I will allow you. Kaaba to your left. It shouldn't be like this. You shouldn't go. What is this thing right here? Do you see? Somebody, somebody said Maqam Ibrahim. This is not Maqam Ibrahim, actually. You never went to Kaaba? This is Hijr Ismail. It's something like white. A little bit tall, and it's it's not. You get to it, Akhi, please. So you are not supposed to come from here because there is a gap between Kaaba and Al Hijr. If you come from here, this will not count. This round will not count. You are supposed to go around it. Not only Al Kaaba, but you have to go around this part because this part is from Kaaba. This part used to be used to belong to Kaaba. Okay. So first round again. You will do all of these things. Every, every time I mention something new, start, Allahu Akbar, then you continue like this, you go around al Hajj Ismail. This is the first round. This side of the Kaaba, where is the Hazrat Aswad again? Where is the Hazrat Aswad? Right here. The black stone is right here. So this side of the Kaaba, when you're almost done with the, the first round, the last side of the Kaaba, this rukn is called the rukn al yamani because it's facing yeah. Yemen, direction of Yemen. You may, you you may make slam to it, like you go and touch it. You might, if it's, if there is no body there or something, it's okay. You can touch it, but you're not supposed to kiss it or kiss your hand or anything like this. You just touch it like this. And when you are here in the last uh, part of the round, of all the rounds, you may say sunnah to say when you are here, almost closing the round. ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة في الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار. سنة فهمت بس عصر. Do not forget to say دعاء any type of ذكر or دعاء any boy. Now this is the first round. Second round, you again, if you can touch the 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 stone, it's okay. If not, then you just refer to it. الله أكبر and continue. Second round. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. لا إله إلا الله. Read Quran. Say any. This is the second one. Three, okay? Every time you come here, you count what? Four. Okay, oh, was this the fourth or the fifth? Huh? Oh, let's start from the beginning, right? No. What, what I'm supposed to do? Choose. I'm confused, I think it was the fourth. And it's not like this, Cap is big, so you have to go. And you have, you have been traveling for, for almost two, three days now, so it's, it's very likely that you will forget. Oh, I, I think it's...